What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. So guys, today we are checking out Motor Wars. It's triple cash this week. We also have triple cash on the air races, but I have to say the Motor Wars is definitely the most fun option. So if you want to launch it, go to online, jobs, Rockstar created jobs. You guys know the routine. I'm showing it right now. Go to adversary mode, go to letter M, go to Motor Wars, and then you can launch it. So in the pre-game lobby, very basic, the number of teams that you want, this can go from two until four and then also the rounds that you have to win in order to win the match this also goes from two to four i think but for this one i really recommend that you keep it on two because if you keep it on two it's already long enough besides that just the weather the team balancing standard options that you can modify and that's basically it now this game mode two teams or it could also be four teams last team standing wins the round each round takes 10 minutes you only start with a handgun you drop out of a helicopter you have to parachute down you can pick up weapons from the ground and you can also use the armored vehicles or the weaponized vehicles as well that you find now this really resembles a battle royale of course you also have a circle that you have to stay in if you go out of the circle for too long you will die just like in battle royales you can also see the weapons that you can find on the map so you don't have to search for them everything is on the map also the vehicles everything is on the map it's not like with chests or anything like that so it's not exactly a battle royale of course it would have been nice though now the circle or the play area after a while it also shrinks as you guys just saw but the middle point of the circle always stays the same so it's not like in battle royales that you just have a random circle it's always just shrinking a little bit it's always the radius that is just getting smaller and smaller but the middle of the circle is always the same now for the payment it's actually pretty decent if you are the winning team of the round you get 24k sometimes it can also be 15k if it was a short round if it's a really long round and if it actually goes beyond the 10 minutes you can also get like 40k and at the end of the match you also get a big bonus so the payment on this adversary mode is definitely good for example 72k for winning two out of three rounds that's very good if you ask me now the concept is very simple like i said last team standing just make sure that you're always in the circle and the circle shrinks every time the little timer on the top goes off basically now for the vehicles i have some tips for you guys you have a couple some of them are really good so make sure to try and get these the night shark very good very fast good in armor you will always find it with the gun that you can attach to it a very overpowered gun as well on the bottom right by the way you can always see the health of your car if this is gone of course the car is gonna explode and you don't want this so you really want a car with high armor then the half track is also one that you can find again good armor good guns on the back it's a little bit slower though but it's a real tank and it's really nice to use in this game mode one thing that i have to mention for these vehicles though is that they don't have bulletproof glass so if you see someone on foot probably they will have auto aim and with auto aim you guys know you can kill someone in a vehicle very easy so make sure to look out you can also shoot yourself from your vehicle with the pistol or with another gun that you have picked up but just really watch out for people on foot because they can be a really big deal breaker last good vehicle is the insurgent with the weapons on it i know all these vehicles are kind of vehicles that you have to use with two people but i have to be honest that people in this game mode they're really nice they always get in they kind of play as a team so i was kind of surprised because of this but you could always find people you also have this vehicle the tampa it's a solo vehicle you have a lot of guns that you can use solo on this for example over here you have like a gun that you can uh, use to shoot backwards with grenades i killed this guy over here with that but the thing with this vehicle is it's really fun to use but it has very shit armor so over here using the dual mgs machine guns on top but then a half track comes and of course against a half track it stands no chance because the armor on the tampa is really shit now you can also pick up weapons very good weapons like the railgun for example over here this guy with the tampa came at me railgun first shot kind of missed i don't know why but the second shot boom one time exploded very nice of course if you do this against a insurgent or a half track it won't work but again on foot you're also really powerful if you have the good weapons now in total you have seven different motor wars the concept is entirely the same the vehicles are always the same but the only difference is the location on the map i think this is very good for example if you like playing off-road in this game mode you can pick a map that is off-road if you like playing in the city go ahead play in the city so i think it's really cool also in this game mode you can really use these vehicles like the night shark like the insurgent with the guns like the half track and online you can't really use them because a lot of people have oppressors and against a oppressor they don't really stand a chance that much because the oppressor is just so fast it can fly and it also has the humming missiles 
you guys know what I mean. But in this game mode, you can really use it, that's why I really like this. Now once you get out of the area, by the way, you will have a timer to get back in so you won't die immediately. Normally it's like 30 to 40 seconds, I think in early game it's 40 seconds, in late game it will be a little bit shorter. But in general I would just say don't play against the edges and always make sure that you have a way to get to the middle just in case you have to. For example over here this lake was blocking me, I couldn't get there so don't get yourself in a situation like this. So guys that's pretty much it. Definitely go ahead and check this game mode out. It's triple cash, good money, not as good as the heist I know, but still very good money for an adversary mode. And it's also very fun, so definitely give it a try if you don't know what to do in GTA. That was it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and peace out, you guys.